Dr. Brett, how are you, sir? Good. How you doing? I'm excellent, thank you. Good. So what is uh, what is your question? It's about taking it from the range to the course, I believe, right? Yeah, e exactly. I really get in my own head yeah. and, and extremely analytical. So here's, here's a three-step approach, right? So first, when you go out into the field of play, you're not there to validate your swing, okay? You've got to divorce yourself from the swing first. And that's a hard thing to do, but you have to understand that you're out there to compete. The second thing is, the reason for that is, is when you're practicing your swing, you're doing it in a controlled environment. And when you're competing or playing golf, you're doing it in a variable environment. So no two shots are the same. So because no two shots are the same, it's impossible for you to make the same movement, all right? Now the third thing that you've got to understand in this scenario is, you've got to be more desire focused about the shot you want to hit versus the me mechanics of how to hit it. Now, it's like shooting a basketball. If you and I were playing basketball, and you, we were playing one-on-one, -on -one and you got an opening, you would go to shoot. Now, would you think about mechanics there? Of course not. Of course not, and you would probably do really well. Now, if you, if you were wide open and you sh thought about mechanics, you'd struggle. And we see that all the time in college basketball and pro basketball, a wide open shooter struggles more than a guy who's being guarded very tightly. The reason for that is, is that once we get anxiety about making sure we do the right swing, it chokes down the ability of us to perform at our best. Those three points make a heck of a lot of sense, but for guys like me that really want to get good and get your handicap down, is the is the real key just grinding on it more so you're kind of overriding the software that's already been in your head with new new code, great, so to speak? It's a great question, okay? So the idea is, the fallacy is that if our swing is better, I'll score better, right? And we do know that if your swing is causing problems, you are going to have a hard time scoring, right? So we have to eliminate the major mistakes. But I would bet if you looked at your game, there's other parts of your game that can improve faster to get your handicap down. The easy chips around the green, better misses, better strategy. Now, if you have a major miss where you're hitting the ball fat, we've got to get it where it's not perfect, but it's functional. Let's get to functional versus perfect. Really appreciate the advice, you got it. Dr. Brett. Thank you very much. Let me know what I can do All to right. help you, okay? All right. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. And for all you golfers, the main thing to understand here is that when we're trying to take our range game to the course, the major issue that happens is we increase our anxiety because we want to prove and validate all the practice that we have done has been worth it. So now playing is no longer about competing and trying to get the lowest score. It's about proving all the hard work and all the money I've invested in my swing is actually paying off. That's the trap. So let's make your golf swing functional and good enough to move it down the fairway. Let's play your miss instead of fight your miss, and let's try to use other parts of your game to lower your score.